we want to change that culture once over again. And so when you have kids come to your farm, they're going to be making the food buying decisions for themselves in, in you know, 12 to 15 years. And so the more we can expose them to agriculture, the faster we change this cultural revolution in one generation where people, it's like, no, I buy my food direct from farms. I value the farmer. I want to have a relationship with them. Yeah. And that's what we want to see happen because that's, that's when this system really gets stronger uh, and has a lot more resiliency. Chaffin Family Orchards is one of the most diversified permaculture-based family farms in Northern California. Located in Oroville, which is in Butte County, the property lies on the northeast side of the fertile Sacramento Valley. For five generations, the Chaffins have farmed this land and have had a deep respect for the environment, preservation of open space, promoting wildlife, and producing food for the local community. The unique microclimate allows Chaffin to produce fresh-picked orchard fruits 365 days a year. Everything is picked at the peak of ripeness, and cold storage is never utilized to lengthen shelf life. The farm produces 40 different varieties of orchard fruits and is well known for its 100-year-old olive trees as well as its broiler birds. And then 500 layers in the farm year-round. And then we direct market all of our products ourselves. So we sell grass-fed beef, lamb, goat, chicken, eggs, and wool. This is like chicken heaven. It might be time to get the chicken tractor out. People pay a lot more for making memories than they do for tangibles. And as us farmers, we're always going to be selling tangibles. And they'll pay more direct for the farmer, and they'll pay more for quality, but there's limits to that. You look at experiential-based sales, there's no limits. That's, that's where the big dollars go. <laughs> the, the principle is still there. People will pay a lot more uh, for doing something that they think they're going to remember forever. Um, they're going to change perspective of their children's lives and something that they put in their mouth and eat once. The goal is that people bring their whole family, uh, really get into the farm life, uh, have great food, and it's really about making memories. This company uh, started for, by a guy who worked for Euro Disney, and he wanted something that was more authentic, less plastic, less off the shelf, really connect with nature, um, and he got the idea, of, we should do this on farms. These are working operations that can benefit from this. And so all feather down tents are on farms. It's gotta be on a small family working farm. Um, that's the model. Uh, and they've got 5,000 of these tents around the world uh, now at this point. They're all over Holland, the UK. They're just starting in Germany. They're just starting in Belgium. They're just starting in France. They've got them in Australia. And then in the US, they're in New York, Chicago, and, San and this the San Francisco market. Feather down farm days. The partnership, essentially, they do a lot of the media and bookings for the farm stay, and then we provide the farm experience once we're responsible for guests once they arrive at our farm. And so, sort of the concept of a feather down farm is, is if you're to travel to any farm, you, you know what to expect from the tent. Um, it's much like staying at a, a certain hotel. You kind of know what you're getting from that experience. And then each farm provides a little bit different farm experience. And so... You can go to Belgium and the and, tent's going to be the same. And they're going to look exactly the same. So that's, that's where Kelsey's talking about. It's pretty cookie cutter from that regard. Mm. So they want families to be comfortable with this part of the experience, so that then they just choose their place to stay every year. So all the cooking and light is wood or, or lantern lit, um, so it's all non-electric. There's cold running water for cooking in here, as well as the toilet, and then there's common shower facilities for all four tents. Um, we've got a bunk bed back here, there's more of a kid's room, there's more of a parent's room, there's a full size bed, and then this covered bed seems to be the, the favorite so far, I think the kids really enjoy that one. Yeah. The feather down tents accommodate up to six people, a maximum of five adults and one child up to 12 years old. The generous living area of 484 square feet includes all the comforts of home. It comes fully stocked with silverware, plates, and cooking equipment. Easy to prepare and kid friendly, but something that's sort of a part of the experience of slowing down and preparing your own, own food within the tent. And so everyone, every guest um, has a clipboard that they just write down whatever they pick up and we square up at the end of their stay. And so we've got basic produce, we've got all the stuff that's in season for our farm. So like right now it's um, a few cuts of grass-fed meat, eggs, olive oil, and um, citrus is what's in season for us right now. 
And then we also provide other basic ingredients. We've got local honey, we've got, um, you know, tea, crackers, organic popcorn for um, the evening, stuff to make s'mores they brought kids. So also a lot basic. of the We've got a toothbrush, don't worry. We've got daily life. Those sorts of things to be a part of the pet. And so um, we just keep this stuff sort of the basics. I run a farm schedule in here, so the guests are welcome to take part in certain farm activities if they choose. Um, each, each guest is part of their stay includes a farm tour. Tour is posted in here as far as when we go about the farm to see what's going on. And so that's all part of the map of the farm that get people oriented with where they're at. Um, we're a fairly good sized farm. Um, a lot of feather down farms are a little bit smaller with 2,000 acres and then people are a little confused as to where they're at on the farm, at least when they first show up. And so it lets me give them an idea of where they're at. The goal is to get these things between, to get seven to 10 on every farm. Uh, that's kind of the sweet spot. So um, at seven, it really starts turning over. If you if you can get occupancy rates at you know filling up your tents at seven, you, you're doing really well every year. If you can get to ten, um, there's there's sizable income to be made here. Because uh, we really want them to go back and be part of the culture that values food in a different way, uh, and that's kind of our, our number two two goal after making another profit stream is really really ag education.